Now, oh, have you ever tried out a project from online and not expected a lot and then been completely floored by it? That's exactly what this is. All we've got is a STM32 F103. They're about $2.50, $3, somewhere like that. And then a couple of components on the output side for the audio that comes out of pin 8, A8. So here's just what you need, a couple of uh, capacitors and resistor on PA8. And then what I've done is to attach a little socket there to put an earphone thing in. So next thing I'll do is I'll plug it in and uh, give you a brief listen to the sound. So if you were hoping to hear something that might sound like a bit like a Commodore 64's SID chip, would it be this? <laughs> Amazing or what? What I'll do is I'll put the full version on the end of this video because I'm not going to monetize it or anything. And I don't know the SID chip uh, chains are included in copyrights and whatnot, but I'll put it at the end, the full thing. So there's the GitHub page to go to, github.com, Bakisha. It's an STM32 SID player. It runs on the STM32 F103s or any of the other STM32s, especially the blue pill, that's the one that I've got there. And they're about the cheapest ones. It has in it a 6502 emulator and then ReSID, I think it's called. Um, part of that code this guy has used um, to create his own here that plays just loads and loads of the SID tunes. You can play any. It's included um, a bin to C, which is a program that will convert the original files from the Commodore 64 over to these little things. So you can play any you want, just upload them and there you go. If you've got a favourite one, like I don't know, Commando or Bubble Bobble or something like that, then a lot of them will play. Not all of them apparently, um, but a lot of them will. And included in the folder that he gives you are just <laughs> dozens of, of the files that will play. I just find this amazing. So there we are, that's the STM32 SID player. I uh, hope that's useful to people and thanks for watching.